Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Fusion 2024, Operation PR. Thank you all for coming tonight to watch PR Society's annual play. The entire cast has worked very hard to put on this amazing show tonight. Before we start the show, we'd like to we'd like to bring out Gloria Turnzahasen to sing the national anthem. Way to 
together since last summer. First, we have Didi, Iria, and Haley, who have spent a lot of time putting together the dances for this show. Of course, their efforts cannot go unnoticed. Some may argue that the dance breaks in Bollywood movies are a bit awkward, but just think about how weird it would be without them. And of course, we have Kami and Ria, previous star actors in last year's play, The Katara Express. Although they had Vipesh and I and Zoya, they came together as board members to be able to craft this amazing play. Well, let's hand over the mics to the board themselves and see what they have to say. First off, thank you so much to everyone who took out the time to come out tonight. I'm so honored to be on the board for one of the largest and most diverse cultural clubs here at Edison High with over 200 members. Over the past two weeks, the support and excitement we have seen makes me so proud to lead this club. The people involved in this student-run production have worked endlessly and overcome unexpected situations to put up this show, like having the auditorium one day before. Despite the stress, I've created a lot of memories with my actors, dancers, singers, backstage members, and of course, my board, writing the script and directing acting with Kamya. Memories that will stay with me forever. Our students have stuck through the end and overcome all difficulties with an open mind, whether it be not having enough time to practice or practicing in small classrooms. For my actors, we have been through a series of changes, but I'm so proud of you guys and I'm so glad that you guys adapted so quickly. I would also like to thank our advisors, Ms. Brennan and Ms. Rigo, who despite being teachers, were also working such a job. While simultaneously advising for this club, they were our role models. They taught us leadership skills. They motivated us to push through hardships and taught us qualities as board members. I would also like to thank our advisors. I would also like to thank our backstage directors, Ritika and Rihanna Bose, for organizing all of the behind the scenes materials and clubs. Next, I would like to thank our singing director, Meher Mehta, who despite being a junior, took out the adult role. This show was truly incomplete without them, and they relieved a lot of stress on our lives. Being in such a loving community like Peacock Society has shown me a new appreciation for my culture. It has made me realize how important promoting South Asian representation is. Along with that, being a part of this board has been definitely a roller coaster of an experience. I've definitely had my hardships. However, it all, I also made so many memories that I'll forever cherish. Producing Fusion has got to be one of those hardships. Um, but I want to acknowledge my dancers for working so incredibly hard these past few months. To those who are constantly at practices, took time out of their lives to meet on weekends, and dealt with me obnoxiously screaming at them. Thank you so much. Originally, Irene and I felt that we made our choreography too challenging for them, but they truly surprised us with how quickly they were able to adapt with everything and all the changes that we made on such a short notice. To the actors, singers, and backstage, their efforts de most definitely do not go unrecognized. They have put in so much energy into fusion, and I'm so excited to see them perform today. Most importantly, I would also like to thank my fellow board members for always being by my side and uplifting me whenever I needed it. When we all had our first meeting over the summer, I had no idea how we were going to create a production just by ourselves. However, together we pulled through. These past few months have been rigorous and exhausting, but it made me realize that these girls will always support me, and I will continue to do the same for them. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And along with that, I don't know where I'd be without all of you guys, especially Miss Brennan and Ms. Brennan. Thank you for dealing with our concert requests, whether it was an extra day to practice or to extend our practice times, or allowing us to use their rooms for practicing. They always made their best efforts to compromise with us and give us what we needed for Fusion to be a success. We really appreciate how much you've done for Peacock Society and how much you've given, to, given up to be with us. And lastly, I would like to thank everyone who helped with tech. First, our tech director, Shri, our audio and lighting tech, Ben Norgi, and lastly, Christian, for helping with tech on such a short notice. We appreciate all you guys so much. Thank you.
always teaching me how to perfect my makeup. Do I look good? <laughs> okay, and I'm so happy that we have a dedicated cast to work with this year, and I'm even more happy to have my fellow board members by my side, even during our toughest times in putting this show together. I've had multiple opportunities to do countless things and meet countless people, and I honestly couldn't be more proud of our board and our cast to be able to pull this off. So I really, really hope you guys enjoy the show. Thank you. Today is our 25th anniversary. 
Nothing romantic about cutting Hindi for 25 years. Now go sit down. Don't disturb me. Okay, okay. Hey, can you at least take an Instagram with me? I want to post a story. All of the train I got. Maybe, maybe she has lined up? She can't. She doesn't even follow you back. <laughs> Happy anniversary, guys. I miss you so much. How do you like my surprise? He knew you were coming. I still have like 360. Why else would I be making your favorite salty? And I know you blocked me a month ago. But I also have a no profile for Instagram. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> only only time is Chinese Maggie. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, but seriously, a dance battle? Come on, it was a little random, but how else is Sonia gonna show off all of her moves there in her future cousin's weddings? True, true. Wedding season is coming up fairly soon. For all I know, I probably have a cousin in the motherland getting married right now. Anyways, did you see how rude Jay was? Rude? Did you miss the part where he caught her? How romantic. Oh come on, that was Bollywood dance protocol. They were due for a dance number together soon. Well what about that tension between them? Please tell me you agree. Fine, I, I guess I see your point, but two love interests already? Two? Did you completely forget about Kabir? Are you serious? This is my Sharma Khan movie. Well, that cousin Kush is always dumb. It's an arranged marriage, you idiot. Did you see the way that girl screamed at her? Far from love, if anything. Okay, okay, fine. I guess Jay and Sonia did have a bit of chemistry there at the end. When the lovers right there. Well, curly heads always win, don't they?
Sarah? <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the cafe. Where can I get my I already know her order. A chocolate beef shake with beef cream and a Dulux grilled cheese sandwich with extra pepper jack, preferably. Right, man? No. <laughs> and a cherry on top for the meat shake. Sorry, I can give it to forget. A little forgetful. I'll go for a plain grilled cheese. I'll do the same. <laughs> what? Looks like you're a regular, huh? Stop judging. I wasn't. It was just so funny. I was just trying to scare away an arranged marriage guy. Ah, did it work? I mean, no one's mentioned it yet, so I guess. I'll take that as a yes. So, beautiful weather out here, huh? I guess. Uh, what are your parents like? Oh, um, well, my mom's super strict and she wants me to get enraged married. And my dad, he's obsessed with Katrina Kaff and stalks my social media. But besides that, I mean, they're great. Uh, you have any siblings? Um, well, I mean, kind of. Well, like I used to, she was like a little sister. Her name was Cushy. It's complicated. What do you mean? Oh, sorry, I have to take this. Hello. Uh, yeah, send me the file. Um, I'll, I'll check it out right now. Okay, bye. So, this is gonna look really bad, but I have to leave, like, right now. Can we take a rain check? I'd like a good play. Please try to understand. I mean, it's really important. Okay, yes. I'll pay next time. I promise. Jake were meant to be after all. She had a phone call. It was probably an emergency. Are, are you serious? I mean, that's what they all say. Let's face it, Sonia wasn't up to uh, Jake wasn't up to Sonia's standards. Kabir is back in the game. Kabir is not back in the game. Knowing Sonia, she probably had a good reason. All my girls in the audience, yes? <laughs> we can't be so quick to judge. Why don't we figure out how she had to attend to. I still like the Hold up.
because it's wedding is coming up in a week, um, would you want to be my plus one? Okay, great. I'll see you then. Hello? What happened there? I don't even know. Was that a good or a bad decision? Horrendous. I've been screaming no after she asked, should I call him? Anyways, I thought you'd be more happy about this with the doctor. I mean, I, I think I am. I was just hoping for the best slow burn moments of my dreams. They would slowly go on dates, then fall deeper in love, and then actually get and then actually get married. I'm just I'm just wondering where Sonia's going with all this. I mean, plus one to a wedding, you know Sonia wants one good there. What if next they're at their own wedding? Enough daydreaming! Girl, get ready for this wedding first. It's gonna take her a bit. Also, we have a whole audience in front of us wondering the exact same thing. True. So, what do you guys think about the proposal? <laughs> I see our alumni Brian is here. Yes. You were married last year. <laughs> Brian, you got married last year. How do you feel? Sonia, as we have her intermission now. This intermission will last around 10 to 15 minutes. You can buy snacks and drinks outside, we just ask that you please do not bring them back into the auditorium. Support the class of 2026 by buying them now. And we will be back in about 15 minutes.
alive and marry me.
conversation. I just talked to you now. What the heck, Jay? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? You think you're funny playing off people's feelings? What are you talking about? Come on, come on, come on. Jay, I was gonna tell you. Tell me what? I met him. I heard him and his friends talking about a cat. A cat? Start a fight. Just let me explain. Explain what? I just sat there like an idiot, felt completely helpless. You're the person I met that day. I don't even recognize you. Enough, Jay. Can we just go outside and talk? You were literally playing out with two guys at once. I mean, I thought we had something. Maybe that we'd get to know each other. Jay, it's not like that. So that's why you left early from the cafe, right? And why the server knew your order? All those calls and texts were alive. You're the better. No, Jay, wait. Oh, Jay, please. Go to Kabir. Right 
your plot play the character named Rancho in which movie?
jeans with holes in them. Jeans? Yeah, yeah, those clothes that have extra air ventilation and pay double the price for them. Anyway, I have to get the lunches ready. Hurry, hurry, please, hurry, please. Daji! I know I've told you this a million times, but are you sure you want to marry this guy? I mean, how much do you really know about me? I told you a million times that yes, I love Kabir. I mean, what's there not to love about him? He's a doctor. He has a great personality. He's a doctor. I mean, yeah. Sonia, you barely know this guy. I mean, what if he has like a crazy ex-girlfriend or something? Who comes to murder you in your sleep? They don't. What? What? It could happen. Guys, no. I believe this has been. Hello? Yeah. I've been waiting. Uh, I didn't know they were going to be married to him this fast. I know, but it's fine. It's, it's better. It, it's easier for us now. It's easier to have the job done. Okay, I have to go. I'm not gonna mess this up. I've been waiting for this for the past five years. He's not gonna get away. He's just so close now. She deserves it. Because she deserves justice. It's not like there's any way out now, right? They were about to do the four barrage. Are you kidding me? The trivia question we just asked? Three idiots? She managed to escape. Oh, the getaway car! Yes, the getaway car! I will literally have a car parked outside for her right now. I don't even make a husband at this point. Anything to save her. Do curly heads still always win? He's about to get married, so... He's kind of mad, but I guess he's getting married, so it's fine. But if you keep talking, I'm going to run you over with a good Please.
to a little conversation. You're using me for money, aren't you? I should have known the minute you call me your cousin buddy. It's always girls like you. Girls like me? Girls like me? I was right when I said pretty. 
girls would ever. How was I supposed to know that Kabir was like that? Every brown guy has the red flags. I saw this from a mile away. I hope I never become a brown girl because those look bright green to me. Well, good thing you aren't one. Sonia was really quick at connecting the dots, though. I hope she gets a, I hope she gets a raise in her pay for this one. Brown women who run for the family? That's pretty solid. A dancer and an DJ? Maybe they'll have more dance battles in the future, fall deeper in love, and then actually get- Krish, please, the daydream. Her and Jay live happily ever after. The end. But wait, I think there's one more thing. <laughs>